Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'll be telling you about using manual lenses for both photography and video. Okay, so I've been using loads of manual lenses recently and I've really come to like them a lot. These are three of my favourite. I've got a couple more but they're not really worth mentioning. These are the kind of the best three I have. I'll be talking about the different focal lengths and how to use them with a camera that can't actually support a lens without a chip. So that is the cameras like the Nikon range anyway, the D3100, D3200, D5100, 200, 300. But when you get to the cameras like the Nikon D7000, they can support lenses without any electronical attachments like a chip or anything like that. So I'm going to show you how I get around those problems and still use them really well for photography and video. So the secret is, basically you cannot get a light meter to work on those cameras with these lenses. That's not going to happen. But you can guess all of the shutter speed ISOs and aperture ranges. So it sounds really bad at first, but I've been using manual lenses for about half a year now. And I can look at what I want to take a photo of, guess the ISO, shutter speed and aperture, and just take it. And most likely it will be right and if it isn't I just go back and flip up the ISO or change the aperture or whatever and it'll be fine. Now that can be convenient in some places but just almost a nightmare in others. So say in sports, yeah you may get the shutter speed or the exposure right but you still have to manual focus constantly to do sports which is really hard but it's good practice if you keep on going at it then that's really good for skills because you can accurately focus and choose exposures without any electronic automatic stuff. So the three lenses I have here today is the 28mm f2.8 from Vivitar, the 50mm Carl Zeiss f1.8 and my brand new, got this yesterday, 135mm f2.8 Carl Zeiss lens. This is a really nice range of focal lengths because 28mm, we're going to be doing this on crop sensored bodies, specifically the Nikon crop sensored bodies, so that's 1.5 times crop. That means that a 28mm wide angle lens, that will give you around 35mm, which looks really nice. I've actually, I've picked this lens up and used it in my bag for a lot of situations. The 50mm gives you a 75mm um, focal range, that's easy to work out, it's just kind of half it and then add it on. And then 135 gives you a 200mm range, which is almost impossible to use inside. I've tried to use it for videos, but it's just too long for a room. So first we're going to be looking at this wide angle lens. So I picked this one up for £50 on eBay. It was used and the condition of it is actually pretty good. The optics are fine. Um, it's quite hard to shop for lenses unless you know what you're talking about. Make sure you look for no fungus, make sure they can tell you that the glass is perfectly okay. And in terms of the condition on the outside of the, the body of the lens, that doesn't matter so much unless you just want it to look good. Most of the time these lenses are really well made and they will take a few knocks, so that's fine. This particular one is just a standard Nikon F mount body or Nikon F mount lens. It comes with a 49mm filter thread on the front, so that's important for if you want to use a hood. They have to screw on with your hood. And it does have manual aperture and manual focus. I like this one a lot because the manual focus is really, really, really smooth. It's not like the other two. These two have got really kind of almost like the got a hard grease or oil in them which makes it really hard but kind of accurate to turn. This one is very quick for if you just want to spin your fingers around and get that focus properly then this will be easy for that. As you can see from video footage and um, test photos it's optically it's pretty good around 2.8 there is color fringing and softness but it's not like ugly kind of aberrations it, it is easily fixed within editing and it won't ruin your shot. You can just see that there is a bit of colour fringing there. So more recently, I've bought this, a Carl Zeiss 50mm f1.8 lens. This is such a gem. The optics are far superior to the 28mm and the build of it is much stronger. And like I said, the, the focus ring is a lot stiffer, but it feels really solid at the same time. The difference between this and the other one is that the mount isn't an F mount, it's a screw M42 mount. So basically a lot of cameras between the 
60s and 90s had screw mount lenses so that was really popular and companies like Pentax and Carl Zeiss and other Japanese companies would make the screw mount lenses to fit them. This means you can get a lot of really good quality lenses but they are screw mount so what you have to do is get a mount and make sure it's got a correction glass in it. There's a problem don't get a cheap one like I have because if you stop down to f2 or below there will be just a horrible glowing softness from lenses which looks it really does ruin your shot at f1.8 on this lens with the adapter it's ruined f2 not so bad f2.8 it's fine this lens is lovely it's 135 millimeters f2.8 carl zeiss uh, it's in the same family um, made in the factory of jenar in germany um, this is also M42 and it has got the adapter so I can there is actually a, an F mount cap on the back of there So there is the correction glass and it's a bit of a devil, but it's the only thing I can use to focus on infinity There we go. Let's so take the cap off the back. You should be able to see open up the iris So it's a nice bit of glass in there and it is it opens up really 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 wide Now all of these lenses are prime lenses. They don't zoom they're just at their standard focal length, which is better because you can get better quality glass in them and you're more likely to get a better deal within quality. So go on, get some manual lenses. Even if you've got a kind of uncapable camera for these lenses, it's such a good thing to get into. So yeah, I'll see you soon.